So everybody begin by getting into a comfortable position. We're just going to get really present with our bodies. Notice any thoughts or feelings that are coming with you into the room. And gently let them go. Without needing to hold on to them or push them away. Letting them be there and pass. And then continue to drop down into your body. Noticing how it feels in your neck, your shoulders, your back. Dropping down through the, your core, your arms, legs and feet. Now I'd like you to imagine a stormy night. A stormy night out on the ocean and you're in a boat. One of those rowboats. And it's just you. And there's big waves and heavy rain, strong winds, and it's really scary. And notice how it feels in your body when you're feeling lost and overwhelmed and like what's coming at you is too big for you alone to handle. And then see a lighthouse off in the distance. And notice the feeling that comes when you recognize that there's that guidance to guide you to shore, to safety. And even though you're still in the storm, that just having that direction kind of changes your experience. Now ask yourself, who is your lighthouse in your life? Who do you have in your life, right now or in the past, who helps guide you to shore when you're feeling overwhelmed or lost? And there may or may not be someone, or they may be someone who's passed on or who you're not in, co in contact with anymore. And just take that as feedback and recognize that we all need a lighthouse. We all need someone who can be that beacon of light in the darkness. And notice your feelings in your body when you think of whoever that lighthouse is for you. And notice the feelings in your body if you don't have one. Without needing to judge it, make it good or bad, it's just information. Now I'd like you to imagine a sunny day on a beach. The weather's calm. You can feel the heat of the sun against your skin. You can feel the warmth of the sand between your toes, and it's not so hot that it's burning, it's comfortable. Take a moment to just enjoy that sunny day and that feeling of kind of being nurtured and comforted by the sun. Notice how it feels in your body when you just take that moment to enjoy the sun and what it's doing. And then ask yourself, who's the sun in your life? Who helps you feel nurtured 
and calm, who helps you slow down. And notice how you feel when you think of that person. Or notice how you feel when you realize you don't have that person. Again, being careful not to judge and just take it as feedback. Now I'd like you to imagine being in a disco club. And it's like just the best kind of music for you and the lights are flashing and there's one of those big kind of glass disco balls and there's just so much energy in the room and there's a powerful vibe and you're just feeling really alive and invigorated and motivated. And everybody's dancing and everybody's present. And notice how it feels when you fuse with that image. And now ask yourself, who's your disco ball? Who's the person in your life who lifts you up and who motivates you, who gives you your cheerleading pep talk when you need it? Who, when you're feeling like you just don't want to get out of bed, who gets you excited about getting out of bed again? Again, noticing what it feels like when you connect to that person and noticing how it feels if you don't have that person, taking it as feedback. Now take a moment to reflect on which one you're most drawn to right now. Is it the lighthouse, the sun, or the disco ball. And just notice. And then bring your attention back to the weight of your body against the chair, the sounds around you in the room. When you're ready, imagine what the room will look like and open your eyes.